have Natalie Sawyer. Good morning. How good are we? Good morning. Very well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Very nice chat coming up with uh, Harry Winks. Oh, uh, nice that. boy. Simon. Great lad. Yeah, I met him years ago. Rob Seagal's his agent. He's a lovely lad. Really yeah. proper, proper young man. Rob Seagal uh, looks after Harry Winks. Harry Winks, a good friend of Talk Sport and a good friend of this show. And of course, uh, on his way to the training ground this morning, he's going to be talking all things England, all things Gareth Southgate. I know, Simon, it's been uh, very much on your mind about the leadership aspect yep. of that. Yep. Uh, Harry will tell us why it works currently, the system that Gareth operates within the England camp. He'll also talk a bit about uh, Tottenham and uh, how he's looking forward, Natalie, to going back to training this morning under the man in charge here, Mauricio Pochettino. And I've been, about two or three weeks ago on, on the show that I do on Sunday, we had Paul Kemsley, the vice, former vice chairman of Tottenham on, who's a friend of mine and very close to Daniel Levy. And there is no direction of travel to coin an expression I use regularly um, <laughs> yeah. indicating that Pochettino is going to be passing ways from Tottenham by Tottenham's hand yes yeah the exit strategy conversation mm. about Pochettino leaving Spurs mm. has already happened so it's not a question now mm. of if he goes it's when he leaves oh. Breaking news, Spurs have sacked Maurizio Pochettino after five and a half years of the club. I'm very surprised. I'm just surprised at the timing. I'm sure Spurs supporters will say the results have not been what they were expecting this season. But I do believe there's been reasons why that's happened and i just really shocked. Someone sent me the picture and said that he's been sacked. I thought it was a joke at first because the timing just doesn't make any sense to me at all. And you just think about what he's done for that club as well in, in a relatively short space of time. Pochettino has given us the best the best days that we've had in a long, long time. And for Spurs fans to say that they're happy, oh, disgrace. If they don't get Champions League football next year, it will be a disaster in Daniel's mind and Joe Lewis's mind. They're not going to hang about. They're saying, OK, they're ruthless businessmen. And if it doesn't work, then they're, they're going to change it. Spurs have just confirmed the appointment of Jose Mourinho as head coach on a contract that will run until the end of the 2022-23 season. He's going to try and mould them into a winning formula, a winning system with his master at. He is a winner, he's always been a winner, and Tottenham, if you have to point the finger at Maurizio, haven't won anything. <laughs> It's going to be a tough test for him, something different for him, obviously. But yeah, I think he'll do well, you know, he's a great coach, great manager. I feel sorry for Poch, to be honest, because I thought he was doing a great job. I admire him as a young and, a, and an aspiring coach, but said he wanted to come back and, and work, and I think it's a great job to take for him, to be honest. Jose looks very good. He looks very good in a brochure because he's he's won so much as a manager. If Mourinho can't get him clicking, then I don't think anyone can. Obviously, Mourinho's won something at every club he's been at. To be fair, this is probably the first time he's, he's managed a club since Porto, really, that have been outside the sort of top two in the league. So it'd be interesting how he copes with that because Tottenham are not close to winning the league by any stretch of the imagination. It's going to go the same way it's always gone. Maybe season, 18 months. There's no progression. He'll leave us where he finds us now, in a toxic situation at 14. It's bad, yeah.